Welcome back for part two of my automatic watering system update. As I said in the previous video, uh, I was likely going to be making some slight or minor modifications to improve the system. One thing I did do, which I thought I would probably do it in the beginning anyway, but just kind of tried it the way I had it to begin with for whatever reason to start off with. But what I did do is uh, yesterday I had my inlet from the pump into this part, but uh, I decided to make that a drain option in case I need to drain the system uh, for the reason that because it was coming in kind of in the middle of my line, it wasn't really um, it wasn't really pushing the water through the whole pipe. It was kind of just filling it up and then going out the other side. So I moved the inlet from the pump over to over here to this side. Um, I also um, I have these little valves purposely dripping just a little bit so that I can uh, for the purpose of teaching some of my chickens where the water's coming from for those of them that haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, but it seems to work pretty well as far as them getting the hang of it. It doesn't take long. Um, as long as they know where the water comes out from. Sometimes you got to show it to them a little bit. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit more also about uh, some other things that I didn't cover in the last video. As far as why I did a few things a certain way and maybe... Um, um, and maybe if there's those of you out there that are watching who are a little bit more plumbing savvy than I am or have a better idea, there's a, but there's a couple reasons why I did a few things the way I did. Um, this being the inlet pipe for the pump system, if it was me, I'd be thinking, okay, well, why is it at the bottom instead of the top? Um, the reason I did that is that I don't necessarily want to have the pump running all the time. Uh, I'm turning it off at night. When it's cool, it doesn't really need to be circulating necessarily. But having this pipe at the bottom, it also works to, when I have the pump off, it still has enough gravity pressure. Um, at least um, I might need to modify or adjust the height on it but the purpose was so that either way I could still have water um, flowing into the pipes um, when the pump is off in other words if I had the inlet on the top as soon as I turned the pump off um, it wouldn't be pumping water into the pipes um, so I have the outlet from the pump on the top uh, number one because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work and I didn't want to ruin my bucket um, the other thing is is that I just uh, also not knowing if it was gonna work the way I wanted it to I didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of money initially on a pump uh, they can be kind of expensive so I just bought the cheapest one I could find at at Lowe's and that was like a a maximum pumping height of about three and a half feet so what that means is basically if you're if the pipes or the line that you're trying to pump water into is higher than that the the gravity of the water you're trying to pump is going to overcome the amount of pressure that the little pump can actually push out so um, For, for different customized systems, that may be something that you want to consider prior to uh, getting your pump. Because they do make pumps, obviously, that have greater pressure. Um, and like I said, for the system that I have set up right now, the way it is, this pump is working really well. And no sense in spending extra money on a pump that is more than I need. Um, I can always upgrade the pump. Uh, as I elaborate on my system if necessary um, 
So yeah, the other thing I was going to talk about is that uh, regarding price, the system is, at least the way I have it here, is not exactly cheap. Um, I did wind up spending quite a bit more money than I had hoped to to just simply water my chickens, but I think it was a worthwhile investment. Um, so just to for if if you're considering doing something like this, um, you know, some things to take in mind, uh, keep in mind is the, your your bucket. Um, I understand that you can use pretty much anything that that's a container that'll hold water. I've even thought b about doing it in like a water cooler so that it would be easier to keep the water cool. Say if you put ice in it, it would stay cooler longer, et cetera, et cetera. You know, um, so it doesn't have to be a five gallon bucket. It can be anything that you can, that will hold water and that you can drill holes into for your pipes. Um, so, <clears throat> that being said, um, the bucket, just just to give you an, an, a rough idea on the cost of the bucket, I, I decided to spend a little bit extra money for the BPA food grade uh, bucket. So that was about six or seven bucks. The toilet float was about eleven dollars. The pump was twenty bucks. The the garden hose was about seventeen dollars. Um, I can't remember all about the fittings, the, the different fittings that I've got, and the adapters and the connectors, the PVC pipe, the nipples. Um, I have. For, for right now, I've used flexible um, plastic tubing or whatever it's made out of just because I'm not exactly sure that I'm going to keep everything exactly the way it's positioned right now. Like I said in the video before, eventually when I make the system a little bit more permanent, I've got an idea of exactly where I want my cages and my coops and all that, then I'll probably run... Uh, PVC pipe underground to eliminate having hoses everywhere that my kids can trip on and stuff and to make it look a little bit cleaner um, but that's the reason for having the flexible tubing at this point um, and also that I could easily disconnect it by screwing it on uh, and off if I decided to move it or if I have to drain the system as I'm working on it so um, that's just some other things that I wanted to mention that I didn't get a chance to talk about in the previous video and so I'll probably be doing some updates on this as I improve and tweak on the system um, so yeah if you happen to be in the Dallas Fort Worth area and would like some assistance or even to just hire me to come out and set one up for you or design one. Uh, you know where to find me. So, hope you enjoyed this video again and uh, we'll be back soon with another.